So hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Rich Charpentier and I'm the channel host. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few minutes. I appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to spend a little time here on this channel. So first off, I think I want to welcome you to the new office. What do you think? Actually, it's not a new office. It's a green screen with a background again, but I was having a little fun this weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. We had a bit of a rainstorm yesterday and I decided to mess around for a few minutes and I set up this new background. So number one, the image behind me was not photographed by me. Um, it was photographed by another photographer who's actually selling their, their content um, through one of the licensing services online called Dreams Time. And um, this particular photographer's name is Daniel, D-A-N-I-L-L, -L, uh, Peshkov, P-E-S-H-K-O-V. And so I licensed this image yesterday from Dreams Time, where I happen to be a content provider as well. So I've uploaded photography over the years. And when people license the images, I get a little kickback for that. Small royalties, but every small royalty builds into something. So the new background I'm having a little fun with, I downloaded a couple other backgrounds from, um, I'm gonna call him Dan Daniel, um, even though it's spelled a little different. But so I downloaded several really cool backgrounds. I wanted some brickwork in there. Remind me of uh, remind me of a place that I lived at in New England. But um, nope, no new office, just a new office background. And that leads me into I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, doing stock photography and stock video. So we're always interested in growing our drone business, and especially if you're coming to this channel, most likely you're looking to grow your drone business. We talk a lot about autonomous flight and doing 3D models, doing construction progression reports, um, real estate work as well, but we fly our drones oftentimes for other reasons, sometimes just for fun, to document places that we've gone to, to make stunning and compelling images and video. And when it's all said and done, when we come back home or come back to our offices or come back to our fake office, um, <laughs> we can actually sell our images and video online with these services. So over on the screen here, I have got royalty-free stock images from dreamstime.com. And I actually kept the search that I did yesterday for a brick office interior background. So like I said, I've been selling photography with Dreamstime for quite a while, um, probably 2008, 2009, somewhere in there is uh, when I first started using Dreamstime, and they do take video now as well. Um, another place that I have been using, but their policies are changing, is Storyblocks, and uh, they're changing their pricing model. But this is another great place where you can actually sell your video and photography from your drone. And then we've also got Shutterstock, another big name in uh, stock images and stock video. Shutterstock's been around for quite a while as well, and I've been a member with them as well. And then finally, we've also got Pond5, which is a fantastic site. I've used this one regularly as well. Been very impressed with everything on this. So the big question that you might be asking is, hey, how do I pick one, Rich? Um, by the way, if you're an Adobe user, there's an Adobe uh, service as well where you can upload your images and video. So you're probably asking, you know, so how do I decide who's the best, who's the worst? Well, that's going to be up to you, your tastes and preferences, and I would suggest going and checking out each of these locations. So some of them do block licensing where people can download every month as many images or videos as they want, and they pay a monthly fee. And if they download one of your images or videos, you get a percentage of their overall expenditure and um, number of downloads per month. Other places just charge a direct charge, maybe $79 for one of your video clips, and then you get 49 of the 79. Um, so there's a lot of different uh, setups out there. So it's up to you to give a read through. But uh, like I said, I've been using Dreams Time for years. Um, I've also been a Shutterstock member for a good while. And I have signed up to uh, Pond5 and Storyblocks uh, in the past couple of years. Like I said, there are some changes with Storyblocks, so most likely I won't be submitting to that platform any longer. There are also group services out there. One of them is called Blackbox, where they submit to all of the relevant locations on your behalf. 
So you have to upload all of your content to them, then they use their distribution network to get on as many of these stock sites as possible. But you have to make sure that you're not double loading things. When you use uh, Blackbox, you are not uploading to Storyblocks or Pond5 or any of those. The reason why you're not uploading to those is because Blackbox is taking care of all of that for you. So I've tried them out. I don't know how I come down on them. I haven't had any sales through them particularly. So, so there you go. Another thing that you're going to need to keep in mind if you're interested in doing this, if you if you've decided, hey, yeah, I'd love to do this stock photography and stock video, good for you. It's 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 an interesting thing to do, and for me, I make a couple hundred dollars a year off of it, not much more. I don't have a big enough portfolio, but if you're doing commercial things with your uh, video or your photography from your drone, you're going to need to go ahead and have that Part 107 certification because you are doing commercial work. So the moment that you start uploading your videos or your photography for sale, and this is done with a drone, you're gonna need that part 107. So keep that in mind. So if you're a hobbyist and you think that the stock photography and stock video idea is a great idea, which I think it's a great idea and it's a little extra income, maybe it'll buy you a new drone over the course of a year, you're gonna need that 107 so that um, you're legit and following FAA guidelines. And in the meantime, I'm really satisfied with the new background. I've had a little fun with it, if you haven't noticed in the background there. And um, we'll be playing with some new ones. Uh, as many regular viewers know, I don't do a lot of fancy intro or exit stuff. I know how to do it. I know how to use Apple Motion and Final Cut and all that. Usually I just wanna get to the content and the information and um, I'm not, I'm not too big on the flashy front end stuff. I can do it and I can have fun like on this screen, but I really, I'm more interested in sharing information with you than overproducing what I'm doing. These are YouTube videos and as I'm building new courses, I'm gonna have some more uh, motion graphics and things in those courses, but doing the courses is a kind of different level thing than doing the YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel is more about having some fun, um, sharing information with you and uh, just doing weekly updates. The courses, yeah, they get a little more production time in them, but maybe you'll see a little bit more production work um, in upcoming YouTube episodes. We'll see. It all depends on how much time I have and how many contracts I have going on. Contracts come first, the YouTube and the classes come second. All right, everyone, we'll see you later. I hope you've had an awesome Labor Day weekend. Today is Monday, Labor Day. And here I am doing recordings rather than running around just having a vacation day. This is fun too. So, all right. We'll see you later. And like I said, have an awesome start to the week.